Hi, I'm Vishnu Chandra Pandey, Technical Marketing Engineer at SonicWall and today I'm going to show you how you can protect your endpoint against threats using removable media devices. Companies and organizations are becoming interconnected than ever before. External devices and removable media are commonplace tools needed by company to complete daily business operations. While these devices make it easier for professionals to complete their tasks and collaborate with their colleagues, they also pose a threat to enterprise data and serve as a potential entry point for the malware. Capture Client addresses this issue with the device control feature where it allows granular control on USB devices and how it interfaces with your endpoints. From global policies to adding exclusions, the admins have the flexibility to define a base policy and keep building on that. Let us see how SonicWall Capture Client addresses this issue. Per a recent study, 48% of the people do plug in USB devices they find. Malicious insiders often use these USB devices to quickly steal data and compromise the systems, often without the organizations being aware of the problem up until it's too late. With device control enabled, the administrators can centrally manage policies from Capture Client Console, allow known devices and block unknown devices and gain visibility into the activity on the endpoint and take appropriate actions post-investigation. Let us now shift gears and navigate to Capture Client Management Console, a single pane of glass to manage your endpoints. Enabling the feature is fairly simple. You navigate to device control, enable a global setting that will allow you to enforce the rule on the managed endpoints. What you can do as an administrator is you can fine tune the settings at a later point of time. Once the policy is enabled, the details of all the activity can be seen on the management console under the highlighted section. Let's now take a real world example. Uh, we have a machine in front of ourselves. We'll try plugging in a USB and see how it behaves. Once the USB is detected, the console will go ahead and pull all the details pertaining to that USB. The admin can either block the device or allow it. So what we're going to do now is let us try to create a rule to block the USB control on that specific endpoint. So creating a rule is fairly simple. All you do is define a criteria. Now you can fine tune the criteria based on the categories that you see in front of your screen. I'm just going to pick mass storage and for add the specific vendor ID and see how the endpoint behaves. Now, once the rule is into effect, the same gets pushed onto the endpoint and there is no manual intervention that is needed. Further, if in case you want some advanced settings, those can be fine tuned. Now, let us navigate back to our endpoint and try to reinsert the USB and see how the endpoint behaves. Once we reinsert the USB, the same will be blocked on the endpoint and a corresponding alert would be triggered on the console. The administrator can then review and allow the device. The best part is a manual entry does not need to be created. Once the action is triggered, the corresponding rule is created on the console. The administrator can then review a previous rule and based on a single click, either can block or enable a set rule. And now as we have updated the rule, if we go ahead and reinsert the same USB on the endpoint, the same gets detected. With device control enabled, endpoints can be protected and malicious activity can be prevented with ease of control and visibility. I hope this was informative. Please subscribe to our channel and stay updated on the latest videos that are released.